let's talk about prestige burnout. As a member of Gen Z, my introduction to the corporate world was a journey marked by curiosity and a relentless pursuit of prestige. Arriving at um, Canada at 17, um, my career aspirations were shaped solely by my parents, um, especially them being doctors, a path that I only know about because that's all I see. And I thought that it was supposed to be me who followed their footsteps here in Canada. And it wasn't until I went to University of Waterloo that I have my own like emphasis on math and engineering that I discovered a different path because I was quite good at math. But I never thought, what can you really do with a career in it? And then I started learning about software engineering, product design, data science, the financial sector, like investment banking, quantity research, equity research. And I thought, oh, that seems within reach. Um, but because I was naive and also I also wanted to go to these networking events hosted at my school for free food, I was starting to learn more and more just passively by being in the environment. I wandered into this Citadel information session. I did not know anything nor cared about Citadel at the time because I was a pre-med student. And I, of course, Citadel is one of the largest hedge funds in the world who my peers were eager to impress. And I thought, oh, the food here is really good. They seem to have brought a lot of people and it was a full house. Like everyone wanted to talk to the people who worked at Citadel. And I was like, huh, interesting. I don't even have any question. I don't understand what's going on here. And I went to a few like tech events like that and I learned about like different things. Um, but what really stoked me was I was working at a lab for free as a volunteer, getting abused by my postdoc yelling at me every day, threatening to fire me even though I'm not even hired technically because I was a volunteer. And my friend who just come back from Silicon Valley and be like, hey, I just got paid 60 USD an hour and they paid for my stipends and all this thing, blah, 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 blah. And I was so jealous and I thought, wow, I'm smart, I'm ambitious. Why am I not getting paid? Why do I have to wait another 20 years to maybe see a paycheck? That's an exaggeration, but you know how long the doctor's path is. So that's when I started switching. I started taking it more seriously. I went to like the accounting and finance people networking once I went to the tech people events. I didn't know better. I didn't know anything. This was the first time that I was actually being introduced to anything other than medicine because that's all I know all my life. So I went to Deloitte and BCG events and these tech companies and I did hackathons to pitch competitions, even a trading competition, which I did score second place in. I, I even did like a blockchain competition in Hong Kong, like aimlessly exploring. Now looking back, I think that was a good thing because there's no regrets. Um, the only regret was that I wish I could skip the whole like consulting and finance thing and just went straight into tech because um, tech was more fitting for me, but because I saw the finance and accounting kids also went after the consulting so much, that's why I thought it was a good path as well. But no, the secret sauce is with the tech kids. So in retrospect, this relentless chase after prestigious role served as both a catalyst for growth for me and a source of exhaustion. My journey was mirrored with um, comparison and resentment towards my uninformed parents and how they did not know anything and who are but how could they know they were so far removed from such opportunities they grew up in midst of war multiple wars in vietnam which is a third world country and they worked so hard to provide me this opportunity to go abroad and of course the best job in vietnam was medicine and they could only assume the best job in canada was medicine which is also true but the world in North America works a bit differently. Like a plumber in Vietnam cannot have that great of a life, but here they can make six figures and live a very comfortable life, more so than a lot of office employees. 
and my frustration however extended into my personal relationships that offered me like little beyond distraction and the cycle of ambition comparison and self-critique led me to like a profound sense of disillusionment with pursuit of prestige i was a heinous bitch to my exes my parents at some point but in the midst of all these pursuit i observed paths that are divergent from the grind and paths filled with contentment and success and untethered from the prestigious one um and friends from diverse backgrounds kind of like forged their own ways so i got to see more of that once i graduate and live in multiple different cities and see all kinds of different people force me out of sight of my comfort zone like almost every year and i had to grow so much in my career and i see how others find happiness um in simpler vocations like my experiences when i went to silicon valley in new york uh, showed me a stark contrast between like perceived glamour and prestigious career and the reality of their sacrifices um, a lot of it does relate to help and conversations often revolve around self-promotions of like fleeting startup dreams or shadowed by a relentless quest for the next big thing so this reflection really help me see the inherent trade-offs of these prestige chase. The quest for high status roles often masks the personal and professional costs involved. So while the pursuit of prestige can feel ambition, it also poses the risk of leading to burnout and re-evaluation of what truly matters and the realization that success and happiness are not solely defined by prestige has really reshaped my understanding of fulfillment and urging for a more balanced approach to career and life choices. Now, I want to do simple things like going for walks every day, um, going hiking on the weekends and exercising and making sure my mental health is on point.